Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Monday the 13th of November 2023. I hope you are keeping well. I'm going to attempt the impossible again. <laughs> hasn't really worked out to be impossible yet, but this is the LA Times impossible Sudoku for yesterday. That's Sunday the 12th of November. It only comes out, they, they, they only have it once a week. Uh, it's not... It hasn't been, uh, in playing it, it hasn't been as difficult as those really tough puzzles that you get on the internet. But it's been kind of uh, upper level from most newspaper games. In other words, you need a Sudoku technique to solve the game. So that means I'll no doubt be playing with pencil marks. Um, as uh, I might even start with pencil marks, actually. Let's see. Or maybe I'll do a few first of all, just to get going. And then we'll jump in with pencil marks. Uh, and uh, finish the game off, I suspect. Um, this is, uh, I'm back for a, a supplementary puzzle. I did make have a fluke with the New York Times today. My apologies for that. Um, I can't, not sure I'll be able to um, do a, a, a repair job on that a corrections video. If I get the chance, I will. I suppose I don't have any work to do. I could, but I prefer to play something new, really. I'll forget that one. <laughs> I'll put it away as a bad memory. Putting things away as a bad memory uh, is something else that um, ought to be done. Uh, Don Jr., Donald Trump Jr., is apparently on his way back to court uh, in the uh, um, fraud case against the Trump family. Why? Uh, it seems very weird to me because last week he was on the stand and the prosecution asked him questions and then it was the defense's chance to ask him questions and they said no uh, we don't want to ask him anything and now they're calling him up again to answer questions which is kind of weird I mean they've already lost the case first of all right they're, they were just kind of supposed to talk about figures and stuff like that right and the, the few counts that are left but basically they've already lost the case anyway so it doesn't make much sense to me doesn't it mean now that if he waivers from his original account that he could be held up for perjury if the prosecution uh, cross-examine him isn't that how it works seems like a strange tactic to me but anyway uh, let's see how that one works out and the other bad sequel part two that we don't really want to see is david cameron is back in the uk former prime minister is now back as foreign minister Perhaps he'll hold a referendum on uh, what to do over Israel-Palestine or something like that and see what happens. <sighs> really, the Tories, they've got nobody, have they? They're bringing back the old ghosts. Uh, anyway, let's get on with this impossible Sudoku, shall we? I can see nine blocking up here, nine blocking across there, so I'm going to start with a nine like so... Uh, And we've got fives blocking across the bottom here and down and down there. So we shall also get a five there. Oh, look, five up and down here and across there as well. Uh, and we'll continue with those fives right across there. Get ourselves a five there. Five going to the top. Is this the last one? Twas. Twas indeed. Okay. What else do we need? We've got sevens going up here and across there. And we've got seven across here and down here, so that puts sevens into one of those two squares, blocking back in this direction, which will give us seven there. Then seven down here, seven down here. There's a seven we can have. Seven across here and across there and down there. Seven. Seven across here, across there and up there. Seven is finished. We've got nine up here, across and up. Get ourselves a nine there. Nine down to the bottom as well. So there's a nine. 
Nine across, nine down here and down there. There's a nine. Um, oh, looks like we need just one more, I think. Nine down there. Yes, five, seven, nine finished very speedily indeed. But I suspect that we're going to have a tricky puzzle at the end, of course, because it is supposed to be an impossible level Sudoku. Six across here and across there. Two up here and two up there and two across there means that's a two. Uh, missing numbers across here are four, six, and eight. Now the six blocks down here, so that puts six in those squares. So six and the eight here blocking up to so this square. Can't be six or eight. It's got to be four. Four down here, four across there. There's a four. Four blocking, ooh, excuse me, four blocking this square, four blocking this square. That's going to be a four. Let's have a little wander around. Uh, we've got four blocking up here, four blocking up here, so that puts four into one of those squares, blocking across there, that will be four. Uh, so four down here, four up there, there's four. Six down there, there's a six.
Ah, okay. Uh, we're missing a three in this column. We've got three blocking across here. That's going to be a three. And this is going to be a one. Last numbers there are two and six, I think. So we can get this number up here anyway, can't we? This is one and three. So this is two. Oh, we seem to be 138 missing in quite a few different places actually. 138 here. I think 138 in these squares as well. 138 across here as well, I think, isn't it? <laughs> and, oh no, not one, sorry. I'm, I'm wrong there. 38 and. 38 and something else. Oh, it is 138, yeah. Huh. Uh, we're probably at the tricky bit now. So this will probably be the time to fill in the uh, remainder of the pencil marks, I suspect. I'll just have a little bash it for a little bit longer, just a touch longer. Um, okay, I'm going to put in the pencil marks and I'm going to just put in all the pencil marks that I need for every digit because I think it's going to need that. So I need ones over here. I need ones in those squares. Uh, ones are there. Ones are somewhere down there. Ones are here. And in this block, ones can go anywhere. Okay, so I think that's the entirety of one, isn't it? Uh, twos are in those squares. There. There. I think that's all blocks done, so that's two. Threes are there and there. Uh, there and there. Somewhere here. Somewhere there. I think they can go anywhere there and here. I think that's right. Let me just have a look at that, make sure it looks okay. I think it is okay. Fours uh, are here and there, that's all. Sixes are there and there and here. Okay, I think that's six where we need it. And eight. A pair of eights up there, eights somewhere there. Eight here and here. Eight down there. Eight there. Eight anywhere up here. So I think that's it. I think that's everything. Um, we've got quite a few pairs. Uh, this game has seen X, Y wings uh, a few times, so it could be something like that that we're looking for. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Uh, so start with eight and to the three, 
Then we have the three to the three here and we've got the one, one to the one and we're back to the eight starting. So this is our starting square, this is our ending square. Eight is our digit that we can remove if we can see this square and this square on eight and indeed we've got two of them. <laughs> we can remove both of Oh, excuse me. What happened there? Um, we can... I selected... Excuse me, I selected stuff by accident there. We've got eight to remove there. That's going to be four. And that's going to be three. And that hopefully will be enough to finish the game. Because everything else looks like it's a weird part of a pair everywhere. So I think it's going to be pretty straightforward at this point in time. Let's get rid of that two. Let's give ourselves a two here with a three there and a one, oh, one there and a three there. Three, eight, one, three, eight, three, one, one there. Uh, let's get rid of the one. What happened there? Okay. Bounced on the keys. In fact, we've got six there, so that is an eight. And that's the six. That's the eight. Uh, oh, what are we left with? Not much more to go now. We've got a four up here, so this is six. There's our four. This must be eight. And we've got a three here, so this is one. 3 goes there. The last number down here is a 6. This must be a 6. This will be a 1. So again, not very impossible uh, Sudoku puzzle from the Los Angeles Times. Um, there are definitely there are puzzles that I find impossible on the internet, but uh, this one is not one of them. So thank you, and I'll see you again tomorrow, most likely. More Sudoku. Bye-bye.